Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Monrev Sims, and I make Sims 3 videos. So guys, we're back to a second upload this week. Hopefully this can go up on Friday. If it doesn't go up on Friday, then I'm so sorry, because that's usually when I try to upload, either Thursday or Friday. But um, yeah, I, I was busy with some stuff, which I will talk about a little later, just because it's it's I think it's interesting, but anyway we are back with the shops on sunset series and i don't know i kind of changed the name of this lot because stories in the sims 3 aren't that fun to play around with like uh with the i think it came with midnight hollow the savvy seller collection or whatever it was called those weren't that fun to play around with um in the game so i sort of changed my approach to this build and yeah so I changed the name of the lot. It's still the Shops on Sunset, but this lot itself will not be called that. Also because when I was building, you can see just then when I put in like the bowling lanes, my game started lagging and I was like, there's no way I can build four different shops and add all the objects and not have this lot be super laggy because I do actually want to use this lot in my, my actual Sims gameplay and it was it was already like I was like there's no way this will be you know an easy it'll, it won't be easy to play around with if this lot is loaded up with all the objects so what I decided to do was to only build two stores or two shops which that's what it is right now the coffee shop next door which you can watch that build I'll leave a link to it in the top right or in the description check either or and you can go and watch that. So it'll be the coffee shop, and then right next door here is a barcade, which is pretty much like a bar and arcade for adults, which this place does exist in real life, and I don't want you guys to sue me <laughs> for using your name. I just thought it was really cool. So this name is not original. I did not come up with this. There is an actual place in the US that is called a barcade, and I've never been to one, but they look really fun, so. I'm just paying homage. I am not, you know, benefiting any way from this, from building this lot, guys. So please don't sue me for stealing your name. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, this is a bar with an arcade that is meant for like adults to come and play arcade games and like get drunk and like, you know, it sounds really fun. So I was like, I really want to create one in my game. And I pretty much utilized all of the video games and like, activities the sims can do like i think i used almost all of it that's like related to like an arcade i used it all in this build so you'll see all of those even like the store content i utilized that within this build the only thing i didn't add which i wanted to um is the i think there it's a whack-a-mole machine and i think it came from supernatural but i don't have supernatural so i couldn't add it and i wanted to but i was like i'm not gonna buy this game just to just to uh just to get the whack-a-mole thingy, which as I said in my, was it my world overview of what I did of um, Evansdale County? I'm not really a fan of like werewolves and witches and even like the vampires that came in late night. I'm not really a fan of like Sims gameplay with things like that. So I didn't really, I didn't want to buy the pack anyway because I wouldn't use it. There's a few build items and buy items that I really want, but it doesn't really, there's there's nothing really like getting me to want to buy it besides the build items and i'm like there's i can't justify buying a whole new pack just to get those items so yeah anyway um this arcade does have so right here what i'm building now is like the entrance which i used the ticket machine that came with the store item for, i think it was the lay cinema plum bob so it's a ticket machine and it comes with these arches or like a, a gate that your sim has to have a ticket for. So I think I made it, so you can get in free, even though there's an, another arch to the entrance, you can get into the bar area and all the downstairs, um, the downstairs video games that you have to pay for. Those you can go into for free. You can use a karaoke machine for free. You can go to the bathroom for free, but to do some of the things like bowling, you have to buy a ticket for and I think it's a red ticket and it costs ten dollars which I mean you can't really charge or you can't change the price on the Sims 3 of the tickets so that's why I had to go with ten dollars I would have really liked it if you could do 
if you could do like a set price where you could change the price yourself but unfortunately you can't so uh, yeah so to do things like the rock climbing or the bowling or to go into the items upstairs you have to pay for a ticket and i thought this was a good thing because you can rock climb for free you can bowl for free you can do a lot of like the the activities like the ski ball that's free pool is free so i was like you know what your sims need to pay for something so that's why those items are upstairs because you have to pay for them um anyway yeah here's the bowling area here and what else what else what else um yeah there's i said there's a karaoke there's a bar like the professional bar from late night there's that there are some tables a dance floor a karaoke machine against the wall some bathrooms and then in the back room which is right behind where this bowling where the bowling lanes are there's like it's supposed to be like an employee like area like i built in the coffee house just there and in there i think i put the vending machines and a dart board because i couldn't fit the dart board anywhere else so it fit in there and i was like okay you know what it works there so we're gonna put it there Okay, I forgot what I was just saying, sorry. My sister rudely interrupted my little voiceover. Also guys, just a heads up, she refuses to subscribe to me because she hates me. So. <laughs> oh my gosh, she just stuck her middle finger up at me. Anyway guys, I don't know what I was talking about. Um, but yeah, okay, so I, I think I was talking about the storeroom, but there's a dartboard in there because I couldn't put it anywhere else. Um, there's a bar, karaoke machine, and right there's the rock climbing wall and the there's like you can see the bowling lanes from the top the same way you can see like the rock climbing wall because I thought that'd be cool like to either see sims fall down and fail at that thing or see them like climb it like they do I don't know my every time my sim uses it they fall off I don't know and they have like a pretty well not a pretty high but like they have a pretty good athletic skill level um but yeah uh what else let me well let me tell you why i i'm like rushing to do i don't know if i said this in the beginning because this is my second time recording this voiceover because again my sister messed me up the first time so i'm recording this for the second time but and i wanted to get this video up either thursday or friday and today's thursday and i'm doing the voiceover now but uh i couldn't get it up yesterday because i couldn't do the or i couldn't record my voice voiceover on wednesday because I was at jury duty. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, if you're a US citizen, you, you know about this, but if you aren't American or you aren't a citizen or you don't have a driver's license or you can't vote, you won't know what this is. But I think we're the only country to do this. But in the US, we, everyone who has a driver's license, who is a citizen and who is registered to vote, they're required to do a uh, jury duty where you're pretty much put in a pool of people of like every single US citizen who qualifies for all those things. You're put in a pool and they randomly select you, which I, I don't think it's random because I've been picked three times, but they randomly select you from the pool of all of these people. And if you get a summons in the mail, you are required to go. So in our court system for, for a lot of our trials, everyone is given the right to be have a trial heard by a judge but the um the jury decides like whether you're guilty or not or whatever the case may be but in like special circumstances with like uh with like divorce court or like um not paternity what it like when people fight for custody of their kids those are not heard by jury so only certain only certain trials are heard by a jury where we decide the fate. But like some things like, again, uh, child custody, those are heard by a judge and the judge decides the outcome of those. So like a criminal case is heard by a jury and we decide whether the person is guilty or not guilty. So that's pretty much what I was doing on Tuesday and Wednesday. I was called in to a criminal court, which I've never been to. And it was scary because Oh my God, I saw like the, the, the sheriff bus. That's how they transport prisoners from the, the jails to the court. And I was like, oh, what, am, what did they get me into? I've never been on this side of town. I have never been to this courthouse. Like, ugh. thankfully my trial wasn't something like serious where someone was murdered or something. Like there was like a murder trial that happened the same day. So I, 
it, it's random and it's a possibility that I could have been picked for that one but thankfully I wasn't because I don't know if I'd be able to handle that but um my trial was for a felony and I mean I won't get into too much detail about it because I mean I can talk about it but I don't want to talk about it on this channel because it's not it was it was the whole thing was stupid let's just say that the whole issue was very stupid and could have been avoided by both parties but oh man um in the end we ended up deciding the guy was not guilty and i'm glad we came to that conclusion based on the evidence we had but i don't know if i'd be able to like go to sleep knowing that i helped in sending someone to jail i mean i know for like like murder cases and, cases and all that, I shouldn't feel bad because someone died, but there's no way for me to really 100% know someone is guilty unless I was there to witness the whole thing. Or if there's like clear video footage that someone killed someone, like even like, ugh, again, I don't even wanna talk about this, but that's what I was doing. Uh, so if you're, if you're, uh, if you're a U.S. citizen, let me know if you've ever been picked to, to do jury duty and if you've like actually gotten selected because just because you get a summons doesn't mean you will get picked. Like the first time I got a summons, I was in school, so I didn't have to go. Then I got it again the next year and I had to go, but that court was, or that trial was dismissed. So we got to go home early and we didn't have to sit through the trial. So, you know, lots of times people either don't get picked because they don't qualify or they their trial gets dismissed. So with my trial, it involved the police. And before the trial starts, they ask you a series of questions just to make sure you're, you don't have like a bias or something. Like my case had to do with a police officer or a police officer was involved. It didn't have to do with the police officer, but a police officer was involved. So they asked people like, are you related to, or do you, are you really good friends with any police officers? Just to make sure no one on the trial would, you know, be in favor of one party or another based on who they're friends with or experiences they've had. So, I mean, I guess in that aspect, it's really good because they want to make sure every person is given a fair trial, but it still sucks because, you know, you have to wake up early, drive to it and sit through, sit through the court, which, you know, th those TV shows make it look so cool and so exciting. And it's like, oh, my God, the details are amazing. When in reality, that stuff is so boring. I'm like, where's the drama? Where's the where's the like the crazy widow who like runs at the defense or the yeah, the defendant to try to attack him? <laughs> I'm dramatic, but. Yeah, it's 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 pretty boring, like all things considered, and it lasts. It could take up to days, and you know, thankfully, it so it is required by law for everyone to do it. So we're all excused from work or whatever the case may be. So thankfully, we don't get like in trouble with our jobs. And some jobs, a lot of jobs, like pay for it. Like you get paid for doing doing jury duty. It's not that much money. It's nothing at all. Literally, it's like lunch money i'm not even joking but um we get paid for it in it like in, within a check from the state but most of the times most of the time your job requires you to bring in like the check they give you as proof and then your job will pay you back as if you work that day so thankfully like a majority of jobs do that so you don't even have to worry about that stupid pocket change check they give you that's more of like a proof that you went there but yeah anyway back into this build um yeah so we have you can see there and that lo those little arches those are the what is it called it's like a barrier system where like your sims use a ticket to get in and the ticket machine is downstairs and th there's another one on the second floor a little back behind what i'm showing now but um your, si your sims have to buy a ticket to get in into the second area they don't have to pay to get into like the bar area and the bathrooms you can get in without a ticket the like it's like a, it's supposed to be like a turnstile those are free but to get upstairs and use all the items up here you do have to pay and i did that because a majority of these items you can use for free like the ski ball machine the basketball hoops you can use all that for free and i was like you know that's not really real realistic like most of the times they'll have you pay for these or you'll buy tokens so i guess that's the way that's the same way of buying tokens by using the the barrier entry system and then also to use the bowling alley you do have to buy a ticket you just buy one ticket and you can use the whole entire arcade um, as well as the rock climbing wall and then 
Also on the second floor, there's like a rooftop golfing area, which I've never utilized the golfing thing. I don't know which expansion pack that came, that came with, but I've never utilized it till now. So I was like, oh, let me put this in. That seems like it'd be really cool. So I added that in on the outside right here. I'm building that now. But um, yeah, what else can I talk about with this, with this video? I don't know. Uh, again, this was, I don't know if I said this already, but this was a really fun build. It was a little frustrating, and at one point I was ready to call it quits because, um, because again, this lot was getting really laggy. So I was like, you know, maybe I should just rebuild this entire thing and make it only a coffee shop and arcade. But I was like, you know what, I, I started this already. There's no way I'm going to rebuild this all from scratch. There's absolutely no way I'm going to do this all over again. So, um... Thankfully, I was a little a little lazy to rebuild it on like a smaller lot, but yeah, in the end, I I finished it. Well, like right here, this is a shell. This is not a real. This is not usable. Like what the golf course is or the golfing thing is on top of this building is not. You can't go in it. And originally, I was gonna put the music. I don't know if you just saw me take out like the the music theater rabbit hole. I was gonna put that. That way, you can put this lot on the Mirabello Plaza because it does fit. It fits at either the Mirabello Plaza or the school. Like that's the same. The lot has the same dimensions. So I was gonna put the rabbit hole there and then add in the rabbit hole rugs. Um, which again, you can download those that way you don't have to use the big rabbit holes and just add them to your game but when i went out when i went in the game to test it it didn't show like a map tag of the arcade and coffee house i said i think i said it as like a sports bar and it didn't show a sports bar bar it literally only showed the music theater so there was only like a map tag for the music theater and i was like oh, okay so you know what let me take this out so I did remove the school. In my game, I don't really care where I put like the school. I, I usually, I have my own that I, I like, uh, I have a rabbit hole that I like decorated the outside of. And I usually place that near where the Altos and the, the land grab family lives at. So I didn't really care that I took out the school to test this lot out in like my own gameplay. So for me, that didn't really bother me, but yeah, so that's where you can put this lot. See, I'm here I'm trying to figure it all out because I didn't yet know that this map tag wouldn't work if you put a rabbit hole on the same lot. It will not show what, was, what you personally built. It'll show only the music theater rabbit hole, which is a little unfortunate that I can't put a rabbit hole next to a normal lot without it not showing, it not working. But yeah, anyway, we will be getting into the screenshots in just a little bit. I think I'll sign off here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, leave a like. If you want to let me know what you thought about this build, you can leave a comment down below. And if you like my videos and want to see more, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.